and welcome to another edition of the Roberts Recap. As a reminder, this is where the district's executive cabinet and I attempt to bring you three of the most salient agenda items from the most recent board meeting, and I attempt to do so in three minutes or less, just in case you are not able to attend the meeting in person. As is customary, we started last night's meeting with a celebration. The celebration segment is where we highlight and elevate some of the outstanding accomplishments either from students, teachers, staff, or leaders. At last night's board meeting, we celebrated Anne Minx, an ELL teacher at Hoover High School. We celebrated Anne because she was named by Governor Kim Reynolds and Director Mackenzie Snow as the 2024 Iowa State Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Anne. Anne was selected amongst 38,000 teachers in more than 1,300 schools and 328 school districts in the state of Iowa. Anne will represent not only Des Moines Public Schools, but the state of Iowa, as she vied to become the National Teacher of the Year. The second agenda item that we talked about occurred in a working session with the board. The board simply posed an essential question, and that is, how are we gonna ensure that we are truly valuing the voices and everything that has been asked of the community with regards to pre-K-12 education. As a board, we acknowledge that in order for us to authentically and with credibility value and represent communities, we ought to listen to what they have to say. So the board discuss and plans to embark upon a series of listening sessions, both the board as an entire board, as well as the superintendent with the board and doing our superintendent coffee chats, which will occur once a month. Be on the lookout for those as they are coming soon. The third item that I want to bring to your attention today is one that comes from our teachers. Over the last several board meetings, including last night, we heard our teachers' voices, where they talked a lot about and expressed interest in having increased compensation. We value our teachers. We see the work that they're doing. We recognize how important they are. And in response to the teachers, board members and I wanted to remind them that we see them, we hear them, and we are committed to supporting them by prioritizing conversations about compensation. While I cannot make any commitments, rest assured teachers that we are gonna to continue to have these conversations because we recognize, particularly during this inflationary environment, that it's important for us to make sure that we are looking out for your needs and your best interests. Because after all, you are doing some of the most important work in our communities. The Roberts Recap, Three salient agenda items, three minutes or less. See you next time.